All right, hello everybody and welcome. This is Freewood of Max. This here current picture is of the 7108 AI. Uh, this is just channel one of that particular uh, DVR um, on the actual DVR's GUI. And we've got the little uh, bell icon up there next to the date and time. Anyway, but that's not what we're here for today. Today we are here to look over the actual web user interface of both the 7108 AI, and this is currently the NVR I'm looking at, and this one is looking at my, yeah, and the whole reason behind this is, you know, this is one of my CVBS 968 cameras that, um, anyway, I need to be able to have access to RS-485. Well, luckily, the Amcrest offers that. My other TVI unit did not. So one of the things that, if you want to call it a complaint, um, that I have about this particular unit and may be interesting for people that are going to be using this particular unit with TVI cameras is it really doesn't have TVI UTC. Now, does it work? Well, the answer in short is yes. So this here is me gaining access to, you know, my TVI. This is a um, TVI 2 megapixel zoom camera. And so it does, you know, allow me to access it. But it's not 100%, but it does work. Um, if we look in the actual settings, it actually is set as a CVI. So that is the only gripe I have. And the reason I say gripe is because some of my other TVI cameras, or maybe four-in-one cameras that's running in TVI, uh, it doesn't work very well with. And of course, you don't want to, like, see, for some cameras that were designed for TVI, even though they are four-in-one, if you run them in CVI or AHD, you actually lose some of the capabilities that that camera is able to do. So, that's one of the one of the big gripes. Not that it's that big. All right. So it also, you know, this is again, like I said, the DVR does have the ability to, you know, look in um, substream and or the mainstream. So that's good. Works well. Then this one, oops, this one is also show that we are looking at the same kind. Now, this is a different camera, as you see. This here is an 841B uh, from 2015. Um, you know, it does have, you know, digital zoom. It's not really zoom, but it is digital zoom. It works well for, you know, my use and purposes. But anyway, as a idea, you know, this is what the two units look like. This one here is the NVR. It has, you know, display audio on the second page, backup operation, alarm, live playback, and AI. And everything that that has, this also has, except for, they call this maintain the 
AIs down here instead of up here. And other than that, it looks pretty much the same. Now, the one caveat to this whole thing, well, one of the caveats, one of the, one of the things to have knowledge of, this is running in the 4.0. 4.0 does work on Chrome. However, you lose some of the functionality when you work inside of Chrome. So I always, and I will until, you know, Internet Explorer is no longer, I will always use my, you know, web UI stuff on um, Internet Explorer. Every once in a while, I'll switch over just because, you know, I want to see what's different, what's missing, and stuff like that. One of the biggest differences between, well, like, this here, you know, this here is a um, audio camera. So, you know, trying to listen to audio or even talk, it wouldn't work inside of Chrome, but it does inside of Internet Explorer. So, that's why I use Internet Explorer. All right, that's just a real quick rundown. If you want to see anything or want to know how to set something up or want to go over some of the, you know, AI functionalities of either, you know, both of them right now, I have them both working in face detection and, and uh, face rec facial recognition. So... set up under those parameters um, not on that particular camera the one that I you know that I just showed that's just in this format this one just comes up that way uh, this one here is the uh, VVR where the NVR it looks a little bit different comes up gives you the smart plan option be able to choose that where this one you don't have that option all right till next time thanks for watching like i said if there's anything you want to see or you know how to set something up uh you know be sure to leave a comment and i'll try to get something posted and help any way i can until next time, thanks for watching. And again, this was for the Amcrest 4216E AI and the 7108 AI DVR. And of course, the 4216E AI is an NVR. All right, again, this is Reboto Max. Until next time, be safe.